Hi folks, it's John from LastChanceAutoStore.com. We're standing with the uh, engine block. This is a 283 engine block for the 1958 Chevrolet Corvette. Um, so a lot of work has been um, set up to get us to this stage. And you can see obviously there's some progress. We've got some fresh paint and we have a crankshaft just sitting here. So what I'd like to do is just pause for a moment from this point. And what we'll do is we'll just sh share with you a little slideshow of photos of stages that got us to where we are now and then I'll just show you uh, what we're ready to do next in terms of, uh, of the process of building this motor. So we'll be right back. Okay, so now we're back with the 58 Corvette engine block. Uh, so you can see obviously it's on the stand here now um, and it's obviously painted orange. So um, it had been painted several times in its life. It's been uh, disassembled and reassembled a few times. Um, they're notorious. This is the old series 283. So there's two different styles of rear main seals. Um, they only did this style for three years. Uh, also something else that's quite rare on this. So this is a 58. On the end of the crankshaft, the harmonic balancer on these are not bolted on, uh, they're pressed on. So um, the original crankshaft uh, was loose on the, or sorry, yeah, the um, harmonic balancer was loose on the crankshaft and it wanted to spin. Um, so the first thing we did, you can tell in the video, um, is when we remove the engine, we're really careful on disassembling everything and we wanted to verify all the numbers on the engine block, on the distributor and all the other components to ensure that it is truly a numbers matching 283 for that specific 58 Corvette and we've confirmed that it is. So one of the things that got me nervous is when we completely disassembled the engine after removing the pistons um, we noticed that the pistons were 60 over. So that's the maximum that you can bore these holes on a 283 block. Um, so I what I was nervous of is um, because this is the original block, all the numbers are confirmed, the date codes, the serial number, it is truly correct for this 58 Corvette. I really didn't want to um, have to go with a different engine block. So we sent it to the machine shop uh, they, they measured everything and uh, we lucked out because um, there was some glazing on the cylinder, uh, in the cylinder walls um, and we were able to hone them, so crosshatch hone them to clean them and we took the measurements along with the 60 over pistons because um, somebody at some point has replaced them. There was some blow by, these will be cleaned up a little bit more, so we've already wire brushed them 
Um, not sure if it's going to come out in the in the video, but you can see here it's quite faint. 060. So that's a 60 over uh, piston. So whoever did the previous repair or work on this engine, when they set the uh, piston rings in, they didn't um, set them properly. Um, and there was some blow by in three of the eight cylinders. So there's a specific way that these rings need to um, be fitted and filed and measured to make sure uh, that they have the proper seal. And that step, unfortunately, wasn't done. Um, but so what we've done is we've already went ahead and we've prepared uh, everything with the, um, uh, with the pistons. And we have everything almost set up to start the reassembly. Uh, we have a very important ring, um, so this is to help us when they go to install uh, the pistons when the rings are on them. This ensures that nothing hurts the piston rings and they're in the same place when we go to install them on the block. Uh, so we've got basically all of our new bearings, uh, connecting rod, uh, hardware and all that kind of fun stuff. So. Um, Getting back to the engine block, so after uh, everything was cross-hatched and we knew that um, everything was nice and round and true, everything was in specs. So then we sent the crankshaft out and they, uh, they machined the crankshaft and uh, they repaired the front end that the harmonic balancer um, gets pressed on too. We were able to find a source and we've already painted it. If I was smarter, I would have taken a picture of it beforehand because it comes black. You see it still has the masking on it. So this is a brand new uh, harmonic balancer that is not, uh, doesn't have a concern obviously with the bore and um, it has the original look to it. So these are a reconditioned or remanufactured um, and they do an excellent job on these. It has obviously the groove for our timing um, so it's an exact reproduction um, of the actual harmonic balancer and it's, it's uh, very specific to this year being a 58. So that, that will be correct. It's not going to be a bolt-on style. Um, so now that we have the harmonic balancer um, fitting the, the crankshaft properly, uh, they machined everything um, for the actual crankshaft and then uh, they're ready to do the install. So basically the other thing I mentioned earlier and I kind of stopped was the rear main seal. Um, very often people will say there's an upgraded seal. So traditionally or originally this uh, engine block, so 56, 57 and 58 Corvette 283 engines uh, were traditionally a rope seal. And uh, most people when they go to redo these cars uh, will put the rope seal in. They're notorious for saturating and causing drips every once in a while. Um, so we're lucky enough, there's a supplier that we're able to locate that makes a specific two-piece upgraded seal um, for this style of block. Very, very hard to find. Um, there's another company, Felpro, that makes newer style. So 1960 and up, or sorry, 59 and up, um, but not for this block, the 58. So we've got the correct rear main seal, so we're not going to have any issues with, uh, with oil leaks or having to use the rope style seal. Um, so basically what we have is, is with the rear seal, the crankshaft is ready, we have all the components. What we did is we wire brushed and degreased and cleaned and then pressure washed the engine block. They masked everything off, they primed it and they painted it the original factory Chevrolet uh, paint color. Um, and then after that, so now that the block is all cosmetically prepared, uh, they'll clean it probably two or three more times before they start to do the assembly. But then as I mentioned earlier, so we have a new oil pump, new oil screen, um, and then they've got the pistons all ready to go with the new bearings. Uh, you can see they have them all marked for our caps. Um, so we've got all that stuff done. The oil pan, we were able to recondition it. It had some uh, damage to it, so we hammer and dolly it and repaired that and painted it. We have the original timing cover, uh, and that's been all uh, cleaned and painted. It's ready for its new seal, which we have the complete gasket kit. And we have our new, uh, new lifters, new camshaft, uh, lots of nice new stuff uh, with our lifters from comp cams. And then we have an upgraded uh, timing chain and gear set 
we're going with the double sprocket instead of the single sprocket. And then uh, factory correct AC Delco spark plugs and all that kind of fun stuff. So um, basically this is the calm before the storm kind of thing. So they've got everything ready and then their heads just came back. They're the correct heads for the car. You can see on the side, it has the X and the 5.8. So they're the correct heads for it. Uh, the valves have all been redone. Um, so it's got a complete valve job. And they're kind of heavy. So you can see the back side. <coughs> Pardon me, where everything's been masked and cleaned. Uh, we have new, new seals, new guides, new springs, new keepers. So the heads are completely redone and done properly. So that uh, is going to be a nice little upgrade for it. So the heads are ready too. So what we'll do is uh, in the next video, uh, they'll have probably the bottom half of the engine assembled. And then we'll share with you another, another video just to show you the progress of it and how it's coming together. So this is the 283 engine for the 1958 Chevrolet Corvette. I thank you for watching. I'm John from Last Chance, Autorestore.com.